Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Craft. Yes, welcome to our channel. We're independent stamping up and demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from an online shop. Do use the current host code which can be found on our website at mitosucrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies. So last few days of June, uh, July even, July, yes. so uh, you can earn this for free, the He's the Man Brood for You theme as well as the Just Because theme from Stamping Glam Squad. And previous tutorial bundles are available from our website at mitosucrafts.com. So we also have the new mini catalog from July to December as well as the celebration online promotion until the end of August. So check those out on our online shop. So good. So yes, so Jay is going to create a fantastic card for you this evening using the lovely Happiness Abounds stamp set. Paired that with the Blossoming Happiness dies, which is those ones right there. So he's going to show you, and this is the card you're making, yes. isn't it? It's amazing. So he's going to show you this card. Um, it's going to show you a lovely, um, a lovely watercolor. Star, watercolouring. Yes. So it is actually still watercolour month, isn't it? It is, yes. So we've got a bit of watercolouring going on, um, perfect for the watercolour month of July. So we're just going to crack on straight yes. away. So thank you all for joining us. Stu, um, we will be giving away these cards as well, but just not live tonight. Um, but do still leave your comments um, down below. And we will be picking winners when we are back from our lovely holiday. So, um, yes, do we are still giving everything away. So, just not just yet. Cool. Anyway, we're going to crack on and I will hand you over to Jay and he's going to show you this lovely card. Enjoy. Right. There we have it. Oh, got a cat in the way, sorry. Yeah. Come on. Cat in the way. Right, so we are going with the Happiness Abounds bundle. Ooh, this feels a bit low. <laughs> uh, and of course, it's floral. Uh, we're going to be watercoloring those. But for ease, I will um, actually do some heat embossing first. Um, and I'm going to use just normal basic white thick. Now, there is the watercolor fluid. 100 paper available from our website as well and with that it actually you can pull the or spread the inks a bit better but with the thick it does soak in a bit more of the inks faster than the watercolor papers so with heat embossing I've got my heat no, my embossings additions kits, and I'm just gonna prepare my basic white thick. I've, I am going to use seven flowers, but I've gone ahead and actually done four of them previously. So I'm just gonna show you how I've colored one of each. So Versamark ink, and I'm just gonna stamp these on. One, two, that might be a bit blurry, but we will see. And three. There we go. So that's all done. I'm just going to push this away. I've got my, where's my tweezers? Yay. I do like this tweezers. So I'm just gonna put that on there. And I have the white stamping emboss powder. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on until it's covered. And the fan is on, so. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's fine now, I think. Right. Just flick the excess. You do have the brush if you need to use it, but it looks fine to me. I'm just gonna put this away before the fan gets to it. 
maybe away that way because it's behind me but now I can't see it mm. there we go so that is now done easy PC powder PC <laughs> And I'm just going to use the heat tool. So cover your ears now. Right, there we go, it's all heat embossed and I've done two of these um, or if you're gonna do a uh, case it, I've used two of those, three of those and two of those so I've done extra one of these, two of these and one of these already if that makes sense hopefully. So water painters, we are just gonna use the water painters and you have three different brush nibs. So you have the thick and the medium and the fine. So this one is the medium which I probably use and you also have the fine nib there. So for quick coverage, um, I'm going to be using three different uh, two-tone colors for each. So we will go with, shall we do that or we'll do left right. So I'm gonna use Flirty Flamingo and Melon Mambo for the first color. And I've also got myself some water, even though the water paints has already got um, water in there. I've just It's just for quickness of cleaning. Uh, the colors, I've also got some kitchen towel and just to double check that is get an extra block acrylic block so we're just going to use that as our palette just put that on there we go and flirt the flamingo first and i'm just going to quickly cover add a bit of water on there or you can press your water painter and literally just cover that really quickly onto the image so if you're happy with that you can die cut it and use it already I'm gonna if use huh? if you're happy ah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're happy and you know it die, die cut it <laughs> clap your plate <laughs> don't know so with the same brush, uh, because it's darker, you don't even have to clean it. I'm gonna add a bit of color uh, of water first to um, lessen the vibrancy of that, and I'm just gonna introduce that nearer the center. What you could also do is before you do that, I forgot. You can just use water to flood your image and then go in and add your color and that spreads out the color even more now when it dries it does um, go a bit duller if that makes sense so the colors isn't as vibrant and as you go near the center add a bit more color and because it's still wet you can just again add and 
hopefully it will spread out so I'm just doing this really quickly but you can take your time and again with the basic white because it does soak in the water a lot faster than the watercolor fluid paper uh, you don't have that as much time to spread out the color sometimes that can work for your favor sometimes it doesn't so it just depends on what um, I guess what look you're going for so I'm actually happy with that that's okay with me I'm gonna take that off clean my block and move on to the next but if you want a more intense contrast wait for it to slightly dry and then go in and add a bit more nearer the center so for the next one this small flower i'm gonna use fresh freesia and orchid oh no i've got star sky here but i need orchid oasis that looks much better so i'm just gonna add that on there i think is there something there i think so and whilst i'm here i might as well add my orchid oasis so again we just want a quick coverage for the outer areas and this one is a lot smaller so add water mix it with the fresh freesia and go over the lines um, just because when you die cut it at least it's still colored or and you don't have to can like be a bit uh, careful because that's watercolor can be a bit um, out of the lines don't you think so I'm gonna add water add a bit of orchid oasis Let's see look how it um, spread out really nicely there but again it it goes very light when it spreads out you can go back in and add a bit more color and just add it towards the center and there we go if you follow our I think block I have blocked a version of this card previously um, I don't know which hop it is from uh, but it's slightly different because I use black embossing pow powder uh, for the flowers if you want it to even be quicker dry it off because I do want a slight darker along the center just for a bit more contrast so that's how you can have it really dark but still have the edges slightly um, spread out if that makes sense hopefully there we go I think that is fine it's probably gonna look completely different to my already pre colored ones but no flowers are the same right even in the same <laughs> in the same stem so i'm happy with that i really like the um, texture that that has created so for the final one i'm gonna do it in tahitian tide And you've seen the other color already starry sky and we also have a recent online class with this suite or bundle and I think I've, we did some watercoloring as well on there or was this from the class no I don't think so okay <laughs> I got confused then so Tahitian Tide a bit of water really quickly easy coloring add a bit more water add some darker color introduce that near the center of the flower I think this looks like a rose right <laughs> so it's because this one's got a bit more petals in there 
I don't actually want it to spread out too much but I'm gonna go back in and add more colors in the most darkest areas that I think should be dark okay which is near the center behind other petals on the side of that center line as well I'm just gonna add a bit of water there and there and a bit in the middle there we go so again that has pulled a lot nicer than my original actually I think I was being too careful I'm rushing this one so you can kind of like see um, the difference and that you don't have to take that much time to do watercoloring when 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 you have an embossed image I quite like that I'm just gonna spread that on to there there you go you can take that off oh no I'm splattering there you go right that is done I'm just gonna clear up and we are going to die cut those in a second so let it dry a little bit whilst that's drying I can go ahead and prepare my card base which is surprise surprise what could it be white on white <laughs> <coughs> excuse me so we have basic white thick and I've also actually got basic white thick as my layer that's only five millimeters smaller than the card front so this one is 21 centimeters by 14 centimeters or eight and a quarter by five and a half so I'm just gonna ooh, 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 there we go and that's gonna go there or that's two three three sixteenth of an inch smaller five millimeters yeah so before I do that I will stamp my sentiment which is where's the stamp there we go Ooh. all of my different colored pieces lying around <laughs> why are you going mm-hmm mm -hmm. not saying anything shall I do congratulations this time instead of happy birthday I used to happy birthday I think previously I I'll, I'll, I'll do the same but we will be giving this one away so I guess congratulations would have been better but you can just have it as a happy birthday card from us so I'm gonna use starry sky as my darkest color and I'm going to stamp that just there and that is now done what else can I do? I'm gonna die cut and we'll do some more stamping just because we can finish that off. Right, I'll just move all my stuff. So the cut and emboss machine here will die cut the coordinating flower dies which is Tommy's guarding he's not he's fast asleep next to it <laughs> but it looks like he's guarding it we'll go with that uh, so because the basic thick white has warped slightly I will use some tape on there that should be enough space I've got a mixture of tapes here I don't know where the other tapes are but I will just do those so all in one go and finally the big one which is there any more tape oh, and there. Right. here we are so who's been doing some watercoloring in the month of July it's world water 
World Watercolor Month. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, I think I've done a fair few, I guess, but not as much as I wished to have done. So this one, just be careful. I show you those in a second. That can dry a little bit. Again, you can use your heat tool to dry it even faster. Now for this one, in the same set, which I put aside, you have an edge die. So I'm gonna use this one with the rectangular slots, I guess. And I'm gonna one edge is cut, but because the end is actually smaller than your card, it will keep it in place. So for the top, I'm gonna have the edge. So turn it over so the cut line is there. And I'm gonna have that there. It doesn't have to be straight because that will just kind of like go with the look of the watercolor flowers. It's not too strict into what they could be. And I'm even gonna embrace the wonk on that one. And so this time I'm I'm got I'm gonna have the cut edge at the bottom. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Is that enough? That is fine. So any sentiments can actually work as long as um, it fits within the length, I guess, because you can use it to cut your layer. And that one's actually going to be, do I have a thing? The, what you call it? The brush <laughs> would be good as well. So that is now done. And the idea for this actually was to raise and use that as a middle panel. And I'm going to raise it as well. Right. I'm just moving my stuff. And I'll show you my die cut pieces so this one was the ones I've just done on camera this one's slightly darker I've already pre-done that one's that one and two of those I did cut those lines uh, but I don't think I'll need to cut them I was just being I was like oh I have time I'll just cut them <laughs> I don't need to <coughs> So whilst that is now done, we can build our layers and we can actually insert these on the card. But before we do that, I want to use the backing of this as a stamp. So this is kind of like, I guess, for watercolor. So I'm putting that stamp if I get a better block. So design up and I'm going to pick that up. He says, I'm going to place that on the block upside down. And the idea for this is, oh, actually, can you pass me granny apple green? I thought I had it. Uh, ink pad or blend. Ink pad, please. So I'm just going to use a block. If we're counting one. <laughs> I think it's Betty's week, two weeks off. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You're on holiday as well. Now. Yeah, I I think she said she's go looking forward to her holiday. Where uh, where are you off to, Betty? Um, I'm sure I saw you um, comment on a previous video. So the idea for this one is let's have a look. See, we have that one, and I'll use that one as well. No, sorry, Mini, we don't have time for you to sit on me. So I'm just gonna. Add water on there just to lessen that and we are going to you can either now I've used water painter to 
color or to add ink onto there and then stamp and what happens is it splats it but it gives you the kind of like watercolor look as well as the shape I haven't tried just using that as a like that I think that might be too much so uh, so um, I think water painters is the way to go if you don't want it too splatty that's work right so technical. yeah of course <laughs> and then again just continue around uh, I probably need something underneath quickly um, just to add on not that our table is not that messy so I'm trying to make sure that I'm not adding any stamping on there but it's gonna get hidden anyway so a couple more water painter there and maybe there that looks all right move on to the double one so I'm just gonna make that sl slightly lighter ink the up Ooh. splat it if you want to we can splatter as well actually there and if you kind of like if you don't mind it being pulled on one side that's fine you can use that uh, kitchen towel just to easily or quickly try it but we're nearly done I'm just gonna add one more and then we can stick this down to our card base Oof, that looks a bit before we do that ooh, ooh, I'm gonna turn that over and actually use the stamp design as intended to then add actual lines using granny apple green again and we will just add some and because it's a lot stronger and it's not watered down it stands out against those watercolor background there we go next one we are going there maybe there that's probably no I'll just finish this up with there and there so just random stamping you can see that I'm gonna uh, concentrate on the left hand side to do that I won't splatter anymore because I've wiped my granny apple green so we are just going to add this on to the card base using where are we I had it here uh, Tombow as well as dimensionals so I've only got the edges here so I'll do two and I'm going to add the dimensionals more in the center so it lifts the up and we can add some layering underneath and add tombow along the edge I'm a bit blobby uh, yeah. hmm? down nice border around or turn it over ah it didn't take off the you're probably like saying take off the thing I'm okay with that because I can actually you use that to my advantage because I can slot in my 
it gives me height but I can still slot them in see I'm clever <laughs> I just did it by accident <laughs> so I'm just gonna copy my original so I might need some more to the left there we go you can I may have needed it to come over but that is okay where else there there I like that one that can go there and that's just gonna go underneath yeah I might stamp another green because I can hardly see this one which is fine it's just gonna give me more chance to add leafings and there we'll see how it looks <laughs> right so we are just going to add uh, all of these on I'll just take that off so add glue just to the middle especially if you are unsure of oh no look one of the green had something on it apologies so that's gonna go there I do want a bit of the white showing come on now <laughs> the center white there we go that's fine and then that one can go on top there again just in the middle that would that will be enough and that's gonna go towards the left we're gonna add the ones on top that one's gonna go there and one of the blue ones Ooh, maybe that's not enough there you go underneath here disperse a bit more I did add glue to it right I'm sure I did and I'm just gonna spread that out and press it down and finally we're just gonna add these on before I do I'm gonna add some embellishment so ribbon 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 I like that one Ooh. I've been playing with Christmas stuff so I'll just cut that off yes you can I quite like it um, with the stamping blends I, I colored the gingham ribbon but for this one I'm just gonna cut that in. I don't know what measurement that is that's probably nine centimeters and I'm gonna cut that in half lengthways And once that's done, I'm gonna use blue dot because I'm gonna have that on there. I want it underneath so it still be hidden, but it's got a bit off there. And once it's laid down, you can cut the ends to a point be careful of the sharp paper snips and also I'm going to add linen thread right for this one I do just want the tails 
so I'm just gonna cut it again in half twist it and then use glue dot so then at least that's got something to hold on to and you can also cut that down afterwards and that's just gonna go underneath spread it out slightly you can add more if needed it doesn't need a Yeah, it doesn't. It may need some tombow just to keep it, um, like to defy gravity, um, and keep it upright. But we will see because um, I'm gonna add my thing there, and it might just hold it. We will that name. So that's just gonna add. Be added there. Press it and hold it. Oop. And then the final flower is just gonna go under here just to add again layered die cuts. I think that's fine. Let's see if it stands up. It kind of like stands up on there. All right, I'm just gonna spread it out and then finish up with my new favorite embellishments now i'll show you my original i did use the peeves personal pers paralyzed enamel effects basic black and the white uh, i went through the black just around and the white i went through on here so i'm gonna change it up and use the black on the inside just ooh, a couple three or four because you can make it really small or you can do huge amount so I do just need to make sure that this one is left aside just to make sure that it's nice and dry for you when one of you wins it and then underneath here just a couple of small one maybe one more yeah and then finally here one big one and a few small one there I'm gonna do dots on there and then for the white I'm just gonna go around uh, let's see probably just do so that's there I will the black is there I'm gonna add a bit more here just I want it, the eyes to kind of like travel around and then finally ooh, I've already done that one so a couple of white ooh, that's big there maybe one there and then a few here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think that's that. So yeah, I think pretty much most of my cards this two weeks have got the peeves. But there we go. That is my card that you can win when we're back. Uh, when we do the draw. This is the original. So which one do you prefer? The darker looking one. So this one I went back in probably two or three times to add the layers of contrast, uh, of colors. And that one was done in black embossing powder. So yes, do let us know in the comments. Um, and if you leave a comment, you'll be in for a chance to win this card. Oh, Tommy's on. I'm trying to sit down next to Jay. Yeah. But um, Tommy has other ideas. Come on, Tommy. But yes, <laughs> I can't remember what. Um, it must. I, I don't know. It must be Stamper Group Pro or wow. something. Wow. It looks but amazing. Yes. I love it. There we go.
Really, really good. So nice watercolour technique there as well. So um, I like obviously this one. I like, I like both of them. In fact, mm. you've got the black and the white there. Yeah. Which is a really nice, um, just shows you what the difference can be. What one do you prefer? I quite, I don't know. I, I, what one do you prefer? Let yeah, me try yeah. I think Jay's already asked you that as I well. Have, yeah, that, that's fine. So I really like the, the wet one? intensity. This one that is the one, wet one. one. The intensity of that, but I like as well, like the pastel. The subtle is. It's, it's, yeah, uh, because on white. Quite, it's quite strong. That one there is quite subtle. So yeah, you do I think get... the way that I, the flowers were colored kind of like match the embossing on them. The yes, embossing. So, anyway. Lovely. We we're just waffling just, now. Yes, we are. Um, I've got a lovely tail going on here again. So there so, you go. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed Jay's lovely demonstration there using the Happiness Abound stamp set. I think he's done an amazing job as well. As always, he's knocked it out of the park again with a lovely tutorial for you. Hopefully we've inspired you to have a go at some water colouring as well or um, grab some of this stuff which you may have in your stash which you don't know how to use or if you haven't got any of this stash, stuff in your stash then links to our online shop can be found down below. I knew Lizzie might like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So, um, thank you again for joining us. We will be back with you again very shortly with another video. There's a load of scheduled videos up on the site. So, um, and I think you can see the. Um, and you can see what's coming up, yeah. and you can see the thumbnails. So, we're very organised. So, go and check out what we what is coming up. Don't get too used to it, though, please. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Right. Cool. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. See you again very soon. Yes. Take care for now. Thank you. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye.